The Valley of Headless Men. The Nahanni Valley, nestled within the rugged Northwest Territories of Canada, is one of Earth's last true wild places. Its remoteness, extreme weather, and predators make it inhospitable for the inexperienced traveler. Yet, it's not just the natural challenges that haunt this valley, it's the unexplained circumstances that have given it a fearsome reputation. Over the decades, unfortunate travelers and explorers have gone missing or turned up dead, beheaded. The number of decapitated bodies found within the Nahanni Valley has earned it the chilling nickname, the Valley of Headless Men. But what is the explanation behind this macabre mystery? The Naha, a cannibalistic warrior tribe. According to the oral histories passed down through generations, the Nahanni Valley was once home to a tribe called the Naha. These were no ordinary people. They were warlike, dwelling high in the mountains and descending into the lowlands to raid and kill. The Dean indigenous tribes, who themselves inhabited the surrounding lands, tell tales of the Naha as a tribe of fierce warriors. However, the Naha mysteriously vanished, leaving behind only their name, a name that echoes through the valley like a half-forgotten whisper. Were they victims of their own brutality, or did something more sinister befall them? Their legacy remains etched in the rugged landscape, waiting for those who dare to seek answers. Legends and lore. Beyond the Naha, the Nahanni Valley is rich with other legends. Lost gold, stories of hidden gold mines, tantalizing prospectors who risked everything for riches, and the allure of treasure that still lies concealed. Murder, dark deeds, blood-soaked histories, and unsolved mysteries that linger among the cliffs and forests. Dean spirits, whispers of ancient spirits dwelling in the vents of the valley's Chufa mounds and hot springs, a connection between the natural world and the supernatural. Tropical gardens, yes, even in this rugged wilderness, there are tales of secret oases, where exotic flora blooms and time seems to stand still. The last unexplored places. The Nahanni Valley remains one of the last truly unexplored places on our planet. Situated over 500 kilometers, 311 miles, from the nearest city, Yellowknife, it defies easy access. Travelers must navigate air, water, or undertake a long overland journey from the abandoned village of Tungsten. Large grizzly bears and timber wolves roam freely, while the whispers of vanished tribes and the ghosts of the Naha linger in the wind. In 1904, three adventurous brothers, Willie, Frank, and Charlie McLeod embarked on a gold-seeking expedition in the Nahanni Valley. Despite the challenging journey involving sled dogs, trains, and homemade boats, they reached the valley and began prospecting for gold along the Flat River. Their initial efforts yielded abundant gold, but tragedy struck when their boat capsized, sinking most of their supplies, including the precious metal. Undeterred, they returned to the valley, only to find that the gold had vanished. Disheartened, they left empty-handed. Willie and Frank planned a second expedition, convinced that gold still lay hidden. Charlie, however, hesitated due to the boat mishap. The brothers' determination and the valley's enigmatic aura set the stage for further intrigue. The haunting phenomena. Over thousands of years, indigenous tribes have either vanished mysteriously or fled in terror from the Nahanni Valley. Legends speak of white demons and wahilas, large wolves, haunting the forest. In the early 1900s, alarming events unfolded. The Naharai tribe disappeared overnight, leaving behind their shelters and supplies. The McLeod brothers' gold quest also took a strange turn, gold appeared and vanished, leaving them bewildered. These eerie occurrences lend credence to the belief that an evil presence lurks in the wilderness, its true nature shrouded in mystery. The unexplained evil. What malevolent force resides in the Nahanni Valley? Is it merely folklore or something more? The valley's isolation, treacherous terrain, and inexplicable events continue to captivate adventurers and storytellers alike. Whether it's the ghosts of vanished tribes or supernatural beings, the Nahanni Valley remains a place where reality and myth intertwine, beckoning the curious and daring to explore its depths. Their sudden disappearance remains one of the most perplexing mysteries. Imagine a tribe that once thrived in this pristine wilderness building shelters, gathering food, and living in harmony with nature. Then, inexplicably, they vanished overnight. Their abandoned homes, tools, and supplies stand as eerie reminders of their existence. What drove them away? Was it an external threat, a supernatural force, or something else entirely? White demons and wahilas. Native legends speak of white demons haunting the forest. These spectral beings are said to appear suddenly, unsettling anyone who encounters them. Equally chilling are the wahilas, large wolves that prowl the Nahanni Valley. Locals believe these wolves possess supernatural abilities and are protectors of the wilderness. Could these creatures be responsible for the Naharai tribe's disappearance? Or are they merely figments of imagination, born from fear and isolation? The McLeod brothers' second attempt. Despite setbacks, Willie and Frank McLeod remained convinced that gold lay hidden in the valley. Their determination led them back to the Nahanni. Charlie, the elder brother, hesitated. The boat mishap weighed heavily on his mind. Yet, the allure of riches pulled him toward the valley once more. What awaited them on their second expedition? Would they uncover the truth behind the valley's mysteries, or would they become part of its haunting legends? The Unseen Evil. The Nahanni Valley defies easy explanation. 
It's up. Let me share tales of other supernatural beings that have been whispered through the dense forests and along the winding rivers. The Lost Ones. Beyond the vanished Naharai tribe, there are stories of other lost souls who wandered too far into the valley and never returned. These Lost Ones are said to be trapped between worlds, forever haunting the wilderness. Their footsteps echo in the rustling leaves, and their voices carry on the wind. The Stone Giants. Deep within the valley's heart lie massive stone formations, monolithic pillars that defy explanation. Some believe these are the petrified remains of ancient giants who once roamed the land. Others claim they are guardians, frozen in time, watching over hidden treasures or forbidden knowledge. The Whispering Pines. As night falls, the pines come alive. Their needles rustle, and they murmur secrets to those who listen. Some say the Whispering Pines hold memories, the echoes of conversations, laughter, and even ancient rituals. To camp near them is to invite both wonder and unease. The River Sirens. Along the flat river, where the rapids rage, there are tales of ethereal beings river sirens. These water spirits lure unsuspecting travelers with haunting melodies. Those who follow the music find themselves drawn toward treacherous currents, lost forever in the river's embrace. The Veil of Time. The Nahani Valley is a place where time bends and weaves. Some say it's a thin veil between our reality and another. Travelers report glimpses of figures from different eras, fur-clad hunters, gold prospectors, and even ancient shamans. The veil blurs past and present, leaving explorers disoriented and questioning their sanity. The watchers. High atop the cliffs, shadowy figures observe the valley. They appear during storms or moonless nights. Are they ancient spirits, guardians, or something else? Their purpose remains unknown, but their presence chills the bravest hearts. Remember, these tales blend fact and fiction, woven by generations of storytellers. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the Nahani Valley beckons a realm where the ordinary fades, and the extraordinary takes hold. Charlie's resolve wavered as the seasons shifted, and the Nahani Valley held its secrets close. The wilderness, once a canvas of possibility, now bore the weight of uncertainty. His brothers, Willie and Frank, had vanished into its heart, leaving behind a void that gnawed at his soul. The expedition to find them was no ordinary quest. Charlie gathered for companions, each with their own reasons for joining. Their faces etched with determination, they set forth, guided by hope, fueled by fear. The Nahani Valley awaited them, its ancient trees whispering tales of lost tribes, spectral beings, and forgotten gold. The journey was treacherous. They followed the same path Willie, Frank, and Robert had taken, the river's current pulling them deeper into the wilderness. The flat river, once a lifeline for gold seekers, now seemed like a watery abyss, concealing both answers and perils. As days turned into weeks, the forest closed in. Shadows danced among the trees, and the wind carried echoes of distant cries. Charlie's heart raced, was it the wind, or did the valley itself mourn its lost souls? They reached the abandoned campsite where Willie, Frank, and Robert had last been seen. The remnants of their fire lay cold, and the air held a heaviness and unspoken truth waiting to be unraveled. Charlie's gaze swept the surroundings, the same trees, the same rocks, but no sign of his brothers. The valley whispered its secrets, tales of the Naha tribe, the headless men, and the stone giants. Each legend clung to the landscape, woven into the very fabric of the Nahani. Charlie wondered if they were mere stories or warnings etched by those who had walked this path before. They pressed on, driven by love and desperation. The river's rapids challenged their resolve, and the forest seemed to shift branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. The watchers, if they existed, observed their every move. And then, one fateful morning, they stumbled upon a clearing, a place untouched by time. There, beneath a gnarled pine, lay a weathered journal. Its pages held Willie's handwriting, the ink faded, but legible. Charlie's heart raced as he read. We found gold, more than we ever dreamed. But it came at a cost. The valley is alive, Charlie. It whispers, it watches. We saw things, shapes in the mist, eyes glowing in the dark. Robert vanished, taken by something unseen. Frank and I, we hear the voices now. They call us deeper. We can't leave. The gold, it's cursed. Tell our families we love them. And if you find this, turn back. 1908, brothers Willie and Frank McLeod embarked on a quest for gold in the Nahani Valley. They never returned. Two years later, their bodies were found on the riverbanks. Their heads, however, were nowhere to be found. The mystery deepened what force had claimed them. Was it the Naha tribe, the curse of the gold, or something older and more malevolent?